what's going on guys it's v3ry very high with another video for gta 5 on this mod tutorial and showcase i'm going to show you all how to use games and graphics own mp mail add-on for this video we'll be installing hair clothing shirts shoes pants all types of thing under sleeves all using multiplayer characters kind of like this one you used to get online but not exactly and as always if you want to know how to install these mods the tutorial is going to be time stamped in the video and down in the description along with all the links to all of these mods we're also going to use character swap so that we can use our mp ped to play the ls life mod making money and being able to spend some money also guys don't forget if you don't know how to mod you got to check out my gta 5 Modding Essentials video is gonna get you started on your foundation for GTA 5 modification. Also a huge shout out to you, everyone who has joined the channel and subscribed. We are fastly approaching 2000 subscribers and I'm happy to see everyone learning something from these tutorials. And this tutorial came from me asking the community what kind of mods you guys wanted to see and the multiplayer add-on did come up more than once so that's what we're doing today guys i appreciate everyone's contribution let's keep it moving so real quick guys let me break it down for you in this tutorial we're going to be using menu and in the tutorial at the end we're also going to be using open four and we have another little mod we're using called a character swapper this is going to allow you to play your multiplayer character with LS Life. So that means you'll be able to make money, spend money, all that good stuff, okay? So let's not waste any more time. We just clocked in uh, to the factory. Gotta sign this little, gotta sign this little paperwork here. Right? Gotta stamp in, check in. And aha, uh -huh, yes, we are about to get to work right now, right away. Let's not waste any time. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it is that I at least apply the drip. So what I'm gonna do is using open up, uh, or using menu I'm gonna press F8 on my keyboard and that brings up this here menu then I'm gonna to navigate to player options inside of the player options much like I did with the GTA drip we're going to of course be exploring the wardrobe and looking at the different components comprising of each character only in this case we're going to have to change our player character so inside of player options here I'm gonna to go to model changer and then I'm going to scroll on down to, uh, where is it? Multiplayer models. Okay, I'm gonna hit multiplayer models. Then we're gonna go down to free mode mail. Here we go, free mode mail. Boom shakalaka. <clears throat> now every time it's gonna put us in a bunch of ridiculous stuff that we don't wanna wear, but it's okay. I'm going to show you how we're gonna get rid of all of that. So going back a couple steps and in, inside of the player options we'll now go to the wardrobe okay I'm just gonna hit enter on that I'm gonna enter into this front view to get a nice fixed camera and we're gonna go through each little step by step starting with the head well we can't see the head because we're wearing a mask so let's go ahead and enter the mask and we're just gonna run all the way back to zero on the mask Okay, wow, that's our character. Oh dang, he got some green cornrows, amazing. Okay, now let's go ahead and play around with, I don't know, let's get all of these clothes off really quick, just to give you an idea of what we're doing here. All we're doing is taking the type and turning everything back to zero. Okay, we're gonna get this character completely back to zero. And once I have all the clothes and accessories and all the extra little doodads off and we're back to the most basic components, then we're gonna go from there. Okay guys, we are down to the most basic components possible for this character. And I really do like the way this character looks, but unfortunately, this next thing we're gonna do is gonna change all of that. So you could stick with this character as you want, but changing the skin color and tones like that are going to be a lot difficult. The only way to successfully do that is we're going to go to the head features section. All right, I'm going to enter the head features and our pet's face automatically changes to this really stressed out looking dude who's probably some kind of internet troll. So what we're going to do now is we can play around with a couple of things. Uh, we're going to click on what facial features and just like in GTA online, you can adjust and create your character's face if you so choose. 
you definitely can do that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and you know you can adjust the nose if you want, the lips, the tip of the nose, how wide the nose is, the bridge on the nose, everything you can imagine can definitely be customized for your multiplayer character. The next feature is uh, shape and skin tone. In this section, you can inherit features from the mother and or father, as well as the tone. Boy! And now this next section, the tone inherited. So we did install some body tattoos, full body tattoos, head to toe, whole body marked up like a subway and haul them. And with this tone inherited from father, there are three different skin tone textures that will have these tattoos. So we're gonna go through those right now. Oh my God. So there's one, uh, I do believe there is a light skin tone. There we go. Dude looks like a brat's baby doll, don't he? Let's move on to hair color. So yes, you can mess around with the hair color if your character has hair. We're just going to leave it as is for now. And you can, of course, adjust the eyes. Wow. Wow, that neck is very small and disproportionate. Now you can see that we have tattoos. We're sleeved up, got some some neck tats, all kinds of stuff like that. Now we can move on to accessories. OK. Here we can play around with a couple of things. So in the tutorial, I showed you how I made a hat, not a hat. So we're not going to be using hats. The hat we're actually going to put on is actually, can, we named it a mask. We had to find a way to make it wearable. So we named it the same asset as a mask. So I'm going to go to beard mask. And then I'm going to change the type to one or two or three. So these are the different uh, models that we had installed in the tutorial. Each of them have different textures as well. And uh, they're pretty awesome. Links are down in the description for all of these, by the way. Uh, we're going to go with the third here. There are some other textures, but I don't think I got them loaded in properly. And on to the legs. So I did install some Levi jeans for this first look. And it is the very first option you can choose for pants right here. Now for the shoes, I downloaded two different pairs. I downloaded some retro 12s and some dunks and some lows. Uh, we're going to put on the retro 12s for this look, although these do look pretty cool, too. Uh, we're going to move on to the retro 12s. Let's go ahead and find those really quick. Here we go. I'm going to choose the black and white colorways. OK, now for the shirt. The shirt is always going to be on tops to outer. And then we got this Louboutin peace and love. I'm going to stick with the Louis Vuitton peace and love. Then we're going to move on to the bag. So the bag for this guy is going to be under task armor. This is going to be a Givenchy bag and I renamed it. It was task five. I renamed it to task item one and task item two because we're going to be playing with LS life. I'm using a special test version of LS life that works for multiplayer characters. I'm going to have this to replace my duffel bag. Now we're going to go to the accessories. I'm just going to give this young man a watch. Now I tried to install an AP, but I don't know where the AP went And there. He's got a nice little watch on. Now there are some glasses I downloaded, although I have no way of finding the glasses. They are actually not in the glasses uh, section for accessories. All right. Let's get some earrings uh, going there. And I think this dude's good to go. I think he's GTG. He's just looking really petite in the neck area. So let's say, you know, I'm satisfied with this particular uh, outfit, right? I can just go up to my outfits section here in the wardrobe. And then we can save out to file. I'm going to call this MP Thin Neck. So I just named that MP Thin Neck. And if we look back on our outfits list, if we scroll down, we should see it on this list. Let's see. MP Thin Neck. Amazing. OK, now we're going to move on to the second look. All right, guys, now we're going to set up for the second look that I got going here. This one's going to be more of a, you know, a chill streetwear kind of vibe. Start with our hair. So let's get rid of this hat. 
for now. We'll get rid of that. Oh gosh, what an ugly hairstyle. <laughs> okay, so here are our medium dreads. Let's go ahead and get a quick look at that real quick. Alrighty, so this is our medium dreads that we downloaded. What do you think? Not bad, huh? The only downside to these dreads is when you put a hat on, they don't do the thing where they look like hair. It looks like hair with a hat on. The hair will actually poke through. But that's okay. That's not a big deal. Now we're going to move on to the shirt. So we're going to change the shirt. I downloaded it, uh, a pretty cool shirt mod. All right, let's change up the shirt game. Here we go. We got our first shirt. Let's go ahead and take off the bag. Boom, there's our first shirt, some off-white gear. That boy's neck is thin. It's creeping me out how thin that neck is. Look how thin that neck is. And we have several different textures. Let's take a look at the back real quick, All right? And this is the one we're gonna wear, another Bounty Hunters. Now, I've never heard of these dudes. Real quick, guys, I totally forgot to do something earlier when we were getting our, our clothing set up. So what I meant to do is, uh. We have to uh, apply this undershirt, this long sleeve undershirt. So I had to go to my wardrobe accessory tops. And then I'm just going to scroll on over to number seven. Bam, we got these long sleeves. I'm going to turn them white. Now I'm going to go to the torso and we're going to pick the correct hands we need. We need to get a model that doesn't have any forearms. Bam. I think we're good to go on that one. And then we just got to get rid of that watch because, you know, it's really just kind of obstructing things. Shaboy again, and there we go. Somebody took the female legs and decided it would look cool on the male. And I gotta say, you know, it's not a bad look. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, we're gonna go with these rolled up pants. And uh, I think it's just a, a pretty cool leisure vibe they got going here. I like the, I like this tan kind of brown. So we're gonna go with that. And you know, it doesn't look too bad with these J's either, but we are gonna switch those up to the other shoes we downloaded. These right here, I'm digging this colorway right here. Now these others aren't too bad either. You know, these are pretty clean too. Mm, am I feeling that? Am I feeling that? I think I'm feeling this. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and throw on that bag real quick. boy again so we're just gonna go through here and find us some bling bling oh that's not bad let's get a uh, sure why not booyah that's what I'm thinking we need to get some glasses on this dude you know uh, his bangs aren't gonna do enough to keep the Sun out of his eyes I think we'll do good with the looks for right now and there we have it folks we got two different looks i'm gonna go ahead and save this one also you know what i'm gonna adjust homie's neck that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna adjust homie's neck because that thing is that thing is tiny shriveled up where's that neck bone thank you <laughs> all right that neck is still looking very petite and fragile, but not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and save this outfit. Uh, let's see. We'll call this one M MP Tiny Neck Street. Cool. We've got MP Tiny Neck Street saved. We can now go out into the world and get our trap on. So now, alright, y'all. So here we are at the bike park. We want to sell these fools a little bit of mid, but anytime, and you know, we're gonna have to ramp, do some tricks, get some exercise in. But anytime, I'm about to do some major, crazy, extreme ish. I gotta finish off. I gotta start the day off right with a nice, refreshing, crisp E. Cola or a nice, delicious, uh, citrusy, zesty sprunk. So let's go ahead and hit up the vending machine. What are they talking about? It says we do not have enough money to use this machine. If I hit K and check my inventory, I got over $230,000. Uh, but since we are a an MP character, it does not recognize us as an actual playable character with money in single player. So 
here's where the character swap mod comes into play. All I'm going to do is hit F6 on my keyboard. We're going to go to presets and we are going to choose Franklin. Now the game says that our hash has changed, but now what we have to do is change our pad back to Franklin. I'm going to go into menu real quick. We're going to choose model changer and then I'm going to go to story modes our story models. I'm going to look for Franklin on this list here. Franklin, even if it shows that check mark, if you don't see it, you can't believe it. So let's hit Franklin and Sheboygan. Wow. Your boy's looking a little confused with the gear, but it's okay. We're not going to stay this forever. I'm going to go back to my multiplayer models and choose my MP head or my free mode mail actually where the hell free mode mail and boom here we are we are some weird looking thing okay now I'm gonna go back to my wardrobe go to my outfits then I'm going to choose my skinny neck then I'm gonna back out go to my MP tiny neck street and go to apply clothing and attachments and it'll simply apply the clothing to our character. Bam, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can buy something out of this vending machine now. And you'll notice in the top left hand of the screen, it says press right on your D-pad to buy a soda for one doll hair. Let's go ahead and get a nice delicious. Mm. Mm. Look, 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 look. All right, so here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna test the bag. All right, y'all, so we're back here up at the whip. About to hop on the bike, and I've tried everything I can. I feel stupid because I keep hyping up the fact that, oh, this new test version, this new test version. Look, it worked earlier today, but it's not working for me right now, but luckily I did record it when it did work. Just remember, guys, I'm using a test version of LS Life that recognizes free mode characters, so when I get all the stuff out of the trunk, in theory, my bag should pop up that I have already designated as task one or task two in the tutorial section. So here we go. We're going to test it out. We're going to walk over to the trunk. All right, we're going to hit. Let's get a good camera view here. I'm going to open up the trunk and we're going to take some dope. All right, let's go ahead. Let's just take all the cash. See if that does anything. Oh, <laughs> perfect. That bag is on us. It works. All right. So you just saw it for your own eyeballs. It does work, but for whatever reason right now, it's not working. So let's go ahead and hit the park. Let's see if we can make some money as this multiplayer pad real quick. Skip. Your boy got skills on the bike now. Skip. Jeez, bud. Done took my glasses and hat off. Having a seizure out here. All right, let's go ahead. Let's hop on the phone. Uh, let's hop on the phone real quick. Hit up our boy Z. Why does my phone look like that? 
I'm telling you, man, there's some, something glitching out. Something is not right. And I, it wasn't like this earlier today. I don't know. It's weird. All right, so let's make some mola. No deliveries, bro. We're hitting the park right now. What's your need, man? What's your need? What's your boat? Boom. Made that transaction. Quick little twomp. Quick little twomp. Yo, what's up? That boy needs some brack. He's wearing a coat in the summertime. How's it going? Titty meat? Okay, I think we've seen enough of the city. It's probably time that we uh, we change change clothes, and uh, we're gonna go up to I don't know we're gonna go up to the grape seed area. We're gonna get out of the city. We're gonna try to see a, a different side of life real quick. Just take it easy, and uh, you know check out some races up there in Sandy Hills. Sandy Hills, boy, you tripping? Sandy Shores, all right? Uh, I just cannot stop though. Oh, that was clean. That was clean. Oh, that was not clean. That was not clean. All right, guys. So here we are in Sandy Shores real quick. I did have to switch up my character's face because that little thin petite neck looking dude was kind of bothering me. So let's go ahead. Let's tap in with the locals up here right quick. All right. Phone's looking like it works now. And we're going to start dealing. Let's go ahead and tell that boy we selling everything. All right, looks like we got some customers coming right now. Oh, dang, homie, homie's ready to die for his dope. The boy got hit by a bus. Now, since I did make the hat a mask, the game's gonna think since we're wearing it that we have a mask on. When? we don't but <laughs> it's all How's good it it's just so hard to find out exactly Appreciate where to put the hat so when I first tested it and tried to make a hat asset and put it all in right. a folder and replace a specific hat I think what I did wrong was How are things? the same way that I changed the name of the textures in hey. open 4 I didn't do that for the hat so if you just change the YDD and you don't change the texture names like you can change the actual name of the file but in open 4 you have to actually change the internal name of the file if that makes any sense I mean there's too much action out here right What's now up? Thanks. alright get out homie boom alright guys so we're just gonna post up at this car meet I'm gonna serve the rest of these fiends real quick whole lot of people up here ready to race How's it hanging? Get your shit. Thanks. Yeah. yeah what's up? You taking any workers? Hell yeah. What's popping? Cool. Uh, let's give this full of blicky. Yeah, give that boy an AK. Uh. All right, y'all. Well, that is going to do it for this episode of GTA 5 Mod Tutorial Showcase and Playthroughs. I'm your host, Very Hot. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and got a lot out of it. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in seeing some more video mods and tutorials and gameplays for GTA 5. I'm your host, Very High. Stay safe, stay dangerous, and by all means, mm, don't get caught. Tutorials coming up next, guys. Peace. Hello and welcome to the tutorial section of this video. Right now we're going to start off by downloading the character swap mod on GTA 5 mods. This mod is going to allow us to be able to make money with our pen playing LS Life and also spend money with our multiplayer character, something you typically cannot do if you change from the main player character model. So once you have your file downloaded, you're going to notice this folder and ASI file. Being that it's an ASI file, it has to go into the main GTA 5 directory. So I'm going to locate my C drive 
program files and epic games as that's what I play on then GTA 5 and in here is where I'm going to place the two files that I just downloaded. So that's really all it takes for the installation of the character swap mod. Now we're going to go inside of the character swap folder. Inside of this folder you're going to see this configuration settings file. Let's open it up. You'll notice that it says to launch the mod we'll have to press a key. Now this is where we can assign what key we want to launch the character swap mod. This right here, this code means it's on F8. So we want to change that to F6 and I'm going to go to this URL provided in the text document. On this virtual key codes website, it's going to tell you the key codes for every keyboard key on your keyboard. We're going to change ours from F8 to F6. So we're going to copy this code and paste that into our configuration document. So now whenever we press F6, the character swap mod will launch. Just go ahead, save your file, and that is going to do it for the complete installation and configuration of the character swap mod. This next section of the tutorial is going to focus on the npmail add-on folder. With this folder, it's going to allow us to apply clothing to our pad without overwriting original files. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page of the Patreon page, you'll notice the npmail add-on folder 7-zip. You can open this with WinZip, WinRAR, or 7-zip. I've got it downloaded and we're going to look inside the README for instructions as to how to install it. So it looks like it's a DLC for Open4. Inside of Open4, we're going to locate our DLC list. So in the README file, I'm going to copy this item line from step number three. Inside of Open4, I'm going to locate the Edit Mode button and enable Edit Mode. Next, I'll click on my Mods directory, Update, Update.RPF, Common, Data, and then I'll look for my DLC list.xml. Right click it and hit the Edit button. Scroll down to the bottom of the DLC list to the last line and press Enter to create a new space. Next, we're going to copy that item line from the README file and paste it directly into the DLC list.xml. Just hit save, and now we've just told the game that anytime it loads, it should load the MP mail folder add-on. We're gonna go back to our update folder and go to X64 DLC packs. And here is where we're going to drag and drop the MP mail add-on folder into Open4. You'll notice the DLC is inside of the folder. Just drag it and drop it, and you've just installed your MP mail add-on folder. Let's go inside for the next part of this tutorial. Click on DLC, X64, and here are a list of all of the updates and patches that associate to the different types of clothing and accessories for your characters. For the most part, we'll be focusing on this one at the bottom, the StreamPeds underscore MP. This next section is about the dreads and hair installation. For this, we might have to rename a couple of files because the developer didn't want to do it themselves. So we're going to open the readme file and inside it's going to tell us where we need to install this. We're going to have to actually install this into the MP gun running DLC. So the MP gun running underscore mail dot RPF and inside of that is another folder for the hair, which we'll have to create. So I'm just going to highlight this hair folder and copy that name. Next, we're gonna go and locate our MP gun running mail RPF. And since we don't have the hair folder in here, we're going to have to create one. So make sure edit mode is enabled at the top of your screen of Open4 and click on the folder icon. This is going to create a new icon and we'll just paste in the folder name to create it. Now we're going to enter inside of this hair folder and that is where we're going to place some of the dreads or hairstyles that we're going to install. So we're going to start with the box braids. I'm just going to select all of these files and simply drag them straight into open for just like that. Now we're going to move on to a different set of hairstyles. Same thing. I'm going to select all of them and drag them into open for. Now, when it gets to the 5M renaming of files, you'll notice that the name looks a whole lot different. Just looking at the other models that we just installed, 
we're going to have to rename these to match those. So at this weird kind of hyphen, we're going to select everything after, before the word hair and drag over and delete. So it should look like the other namings of the other hair files we just installed. So do that for all of those files. And that is how you'll be able to rename 5M hair assets to play in your game. Okay, this next section is for tattoos. We have a full body tattoo model we downloaded. Let's go inside and check it out. Let's open up the readme file and that is going to let us know exactly where it is we need to place these files in our mpmail add-on folder. So for the body path, it has to go into this overlay, uh, mpped overlay.rpf. So inside of our add-on DLC folders here, we're gonna locate the overlay and inside of the tattoos, we're simply going to place those tattoo files into the overlay texture RPF, and voila, we now have our body tattoos installed. The next move is for the head, and seeing as how I couldn't find this directory already inside of my mpmail add-on folder, well, I just went ahead and I placed, replaced the actual file path within my mods directory. Inside of Open4, I just went to my main GTA 5 directory, and then I located the update folder, clicked on the X64 DLC packs, and then I looked for the MP patches NSG folder itself. Inside of here, I enabled edit mode, or if it wasn't already enabled, I enabled it again, went inside the DLC RPF, and it gave us a choice to copy it to our mods directory. Let's go ahead and do that. And once inside there, we're gonna to go to the X64 folder and then locate the models folder within that. And there we'll click on CD images. And here at the bottom, we have our MP patches folder or file that we needed to edit. Let's go ahead and go inside of the MP patches.rpf. And then we're gonna locate the MP mail free mode 01 folder. And inside of that, that is where we are going to place our file, which will replace some of the head textures that already exist in this DLC pack. Be sure to get back to your MP add-on DLC and inside of our files, we are going to now install some glasses. Now let's open up this path file here. The readme is going to show us where to install this file as well. You kind of get the idea by now. This has to go into the hipster player RPF and its free mode directory. So we're gonna locate that in open four. And all we have to do is select our glasses we want to install, drag all these files up and over into open four. Now they do say, uh, now we can check them out and you'll notice that the naming on them is a P underscore, which usually goes into the props folder, but the directions specify that they have to go in this hipster folder. And we'll do the same thing with the playing glasses. I'm looking to see if they're numbered the same. And since they are, I'm just going to keep the ones we have installed. Next, we're gonna move on to our layered shirt. So I'm gonna get back to my main directory for MP mail add-on, click on my layered shirt folder here, and we're simply going to drag all of these files up and into our main stream peds mp.rpf in open four. Go into the free mode folder, select all of these and drag them over. We'll have a chance to look at the models. This top model is going to be the long sleeve portion of the layered shirt and this will be the main top t-shirt for this mod. You'll also be able to look at the different textures, which are YTD files, and the main models are always .ydd files. Now we'll be installing some t-shirt textures for a base model, which also goes in our stream ped MP free mode folder. So all we need to do is select these textures Go inside of our stream peds uh, free mode folder here and drag these t-shirt textures right into open four. All right, just making sure it doesn't say any other name. And that's it. You can now look at the different textures for the shirt that we just installed. So they're just simply textures, not 3D models that exist already for a vanilla multiplayer character. 
let's move on to our next installation. Okay, so this next section, we're gonna install some pants. We have two types. We have a Levi model, and we have another version that's ported over from the female peds made from males. Both of these are going to go into the stream peds MP RPF file. But we're gonna take a look at the readme just to make sure. For our Levi jeans, we'll click on that, and we'll click on the YDD files. And we're gonna drag this into our stream peds free mode folder. Let's drag the lower file in, and now they'll be the first pants we see when we start our MP Med. Now we're gonna go to the texture files and drag those in as well, and you'll get to see the textures for the pants that we just installed. Now we're gonna go to the other pants we have and do the same exact thing. We're gonna select all of these files and drag them into Open4. Now I just want to point out that there are a lot of textures. Let's take a look at the mesh to get an idea of what it looks like. Being that we have a long t-shirt, it's not going to look as feminine as it probably does. But notice that there's a lot of textures and you may want to get rid of some of these or install the heap limit adjuster. You might have some issues with there being way too many textures for these pants, but choose and select wisely. You can have them all or you can have none at all. Here's the part where I installed some shoes. So I just downloaded two pairs of shoes, some Nike Lows and some Jordan Retro 12s. In the same stream pads folder, I just drag and dropped all of those files for both shoes straight into the directory we, we just were in for the pants. It's as simple as that. Now, this next section I saved last for the bucket hat. We have three different types of hats with three or several different types of textures and also this Givenchy bag, but they both are task items, which means we can't wear them at the same time. So what I did for this designer hat was I decided I'm going to rename it to a different type of asset for the asset types that actually go into the stream pads folder. So Without having to dig through multiple different DLCs, I decided I'm going to rename it to something that's already in the natural stream peds folder. I decided to name it a bird asset. Now, B-E-R-D, that will make the game think that it is a mask, but it will allow us to wear it at the same time as our bag. So I decided to change it from bird 004 to 001. So it'll be the first item we can put on when changing. Now I have to change the texture files to match the same asset naming and numbering. All I'm changing is task and the number. So it will now become B-E-R-D underscore diff underscore 001 and then the texture sequence. After that, I'm gonna do the same exact thing with all of the other hats and I'm gonna place them inside of the stream pads folder. Now that we have the hats loaded, you can take a look at the 3D model in the 3D model in the YDD file. And now here's a real pivotal part. We have to take a look at those textures that we just renamed and uploaded. And you'll notice on the left hand side there, it still shows that it says task diff. Make sure and you enable edit mode for this next step. So now what I did in open four was I simply right clicked the texture file name, clicked copy name, opened up the texture, right clicked on that left hand name and hit rename. Then I pasted in the file name that I want to rename the texture to and got rid of the YTD part at the end. Just hit OK on that. And then I hit save. I ended up doing this for all the rest of my textures because I believe that if we do not have it matching the actual texture names, they are not going to show up in the game at all. So you can do this for all of the hat textures that you want the choice my friend is yours. Moving on. And the final asset is the Givenchy crossbody bag. In the readme file, it says that it has to go in the same place, the stream pads MP folder. I'm simply going to make copies of these because I want to make them 
two different assets. So I just renamed it to task one so that it will be the very first item that shows up in our task armor menu. And I did the same thing with the texture. Then I just right clicked and copied these two files, pasted them in, and I renamed the other copy to task 002. And I did the same thing with the texture. I only did this as a test for testing out with LS Life. You shouldn't have to do this. And I also did not rename the textures to match the file names inside of Open4. So I don't know if that makes any difference at all. But yeah, that's all I did. I renamed it to task 001. Uh, then I renamed the other one to task 002 because when you get a bag inside of LS Life uh, mod, what happens is when you pick up a large sum of money, cash, drugs, dope, whatever, a, ba a bag will spawn on your character. We're going to be replacing that with this Givenchy bag. And also that is in a test version of LS Life that you guys don't exactly have access to right now. But you got it here first and foremost. I'm your dude very high. This is going to be the end of the tutorial section for this entire video. I hope this video helps you guys out so much. I really do appreciate all of the new subscribers. We are about to hit 2000 subs in no time, and I really appreciate all of the support. I'm glad to be helping everyone out there. And by all means, guys, please subscribe to see more videos. Drop a thumbs up. I worked really hard on these last couple of videos because I want you to start a new foundation in GTA 5 modification. Stay safe, stay dangerous, and by all means, don't get caught, guys. Peace out. Brokasha! Thank you.